What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. So you know, generally I'm the last channel to sit here and speculate, but I've been reading a lot of comments from you guys and I wanted to go through and discuss some things because honestly, we do have a little bit to go on. Chantal has responded to some comments. You see the one here up on the screen where it basically says, listen, enjoy your holidays. Quit paying attention to reaction channels. They're just looking for free and easy content. They want to use your name for attention. I will say at the end of this, families... Track, my track record should stay out of this. I have no idea why we continue to see families be brought up, but that's the route some creators need to go. And Chantal responds with, they're all vile. I'm staying offline for a bit, XO. And I do believe that. I do believe Chantal is planning a little bit of an extended offline venture. And the reason for that, obviously, I think she has a lot to get settled. Now, people have speculated, is she going to be back with Pete? Is she going to be staying at her family's home? None of that matters to me. I honestly think it would be in Chantel's best interest if she didn't throw away the prayer mat and the hijab right away. I think she would probably be much better off from a creator standpoint to go around local restaurants in her car, right? All the filming should be done in the car and look for local halal restaurants. Go through that phase for a little bit. Now, how she's going to stand up to only having halal options when that's the only thing she can eat, I don't know. If they bring back the Nashville chicken sandwich the way they brought back the McRib, I don't know how her willpower is going to factor into that. I will say the one thing that I'm most surprised by is that Salah hasn't done anything. And I would have thought that if he was really going to capitalize on bringing views to his channels, whether the gaming channel or the couples channel, that he would look to go live. Or at least put up a video, because you know the interest would be there. The community would either come in and ask questions, or they would want to go through and try to maybe fine-tooth comb a video a little bit and figure out if there was any hints as to what was happening. But all we really have right now is the hindsight of knowing Chantel was clearly aware she would need to leave at some point, more than likely has. I find it interesting that the cat was never fixed even though it was continually put off, because there was a long time where she was defiant and that she wasn't leaving. So when she had to leave, it seemed like there was a lot of untied ends. All of a sudden, she was cleaning the apartment, this deep clean that we'd never really heard of before. We knew that the apartment was for expats, which Chantal herself labeled her as. We don't know if Sal is going to be staying there. Of course, you recall when she first went over, Sal was perfectly fine in his quote, bachelor pad that he had set up. So I don't necessarily know that he needs to be staying where they were. And then obviously, what is going to become of the cat, the hamster, and anything else she might have brought into the equation. We do know that he's left with the Wish SUV. He's also left with her constantly promoting this business. And that was kind of the next thing that I wanted to touch on here, because she does get a lot of questions about the product. And the first of which is, why can't she pronounce it properly? And I found it interesting. She actually responded to Gail here and saying, yes, uh, I didn't know, but I do know now that I wasn't pronouncing it right. But there were a lot of people that asked, you know, what is the cause of this? You know, what are you benefiting from this? And Chantel's responses, I find, are just a little bit off. So she says the supplements have proven positive health effects, which again, that's her opinion. We, we really haven't seen her ability to prove this opinion. And it does kind of start to go down a slippery slope when she talks about, oh, I use them now. I see a, a rise in my energy levels, but how long has she truly used them? And obviously the other side of this was the financial gain. Now she does clear this up and says, listen, regardless, I don't need the money. So I'm going to use their products no matter what. And I do believe, honestly, as a creator, if you are going to be sponsored by someone, it's probably best to use their products long before they come to you and give you any compensation, be it financial or physical, for sharing your love of a product. But the reality is, Chantel really didn't have a long enough time with these products, as evident from her not being able to pronounce the name, to truly tell you, this is what it's done to change and impact my life. And to that point, we also know that all of the links appear to be in Salah's name. So going back to the fact that he was left with what we assume is a relatively newer SUV, and her promoting this product with his link, which we can assume he would be getting some type of commission from does tend to show a willingness for her to kind of set 
her own need for YouTube income on the back burner for the short term of going out and getting him as much exposure as possible. And I do think that when she creates the community post, like I covered before, where she deletes and then has to go back and edit, whatever the case, it does reflect poorly. And if she is, in fact, aligning with these brands, she does run the risk, just like she did with the coldest water bottle of people reaching out and saying, listen, you might not be aware of this person, but they're co-signing your name on this product. And this is the way they handle themselves online. Just thought you would want to know. Chantal's had to deal with this countless times over. I personally don't recommend that. I wouldn't do that. But at the end of the day, I do know there's people in this community, as I mentioned in the beginning, that don't seem to be able to discern the line between YouTube, social media, and real life. And every day, we see people willing to kind of walk over that line for whatever reason. Now, to close this out, as I mentioned, you know, Salah does have his own platform, so he could easily be going on them. But one of the things that I really was reminded of was before Chantal was leaving, remember she was setting up this new channel. She was going to come out and said, you know, listen, we're going to have this channel here. Everyday Miriam is going to be my everyday wife life as a Muslim revert. But all the personal stuff, the weight related, the faith related, you're not going to find them on my foodie beauty channel. You're going to find them on here. Because the Foodie Beauty channel was really just going to be food related. Mostly her cooking show. So to me, that really doesn't scream somebody that figured they were going to be leaving right away. Now she does go on obviously to say and say, listen, before that, what I think was probably Chantel's best idea was this Foodie Reacts Back. Where basically she came online and said, listen, I've got a new channel. I'm going to do what everybody else is doing. She's seen how successful it is for most creators, and she was going to react back. She never really got to the point where she did either one of these channels, but they're all sitting there. And I think to that point, when you look at things as a whole, you've got somebody that has control of, from what we know, at least four channels, right? You've got Woody Reacts Back, Everyday Miriam, the Foodie Beauty channel, and the Couples channel, and here we are, better part of a month, and we've only seen uploads on one of the channels, and that's it. You know, there is a lot of work that goes into creating content. I'm not taking that away from anyone, and I'm certainly not saying that it's an easy thing to do, but what I will say is it's easy to sit down and say what you're going to do. It's easy to to sit there and direct your viewer, your subscriber to a different platform and say, hey, listen, this is where I'm going to create content now. This is going to house all of this content if you want to go over there. But it's a lot harder to actually follow through and make that content. And the fact that right now you can see just by searching her name, reaction channels continue to stay relevant, continue to bring in views, continue to be supported. And that's because of people like you watching this video 8 minutes and 20 seconds in, but because the community, I think we see more and more in times like this, is not solely dependent on Chantal. There's people that can still stream for hours, there's people that can still make videos, there's people that find ways to go back and recreate content based on her past videos. Chantal likes to sit there and think that she needs to be current, she needs to be making content for everyone else to be relevant. But as the view counts show, that really isn't the case. Speaking of relevant, here are the most relevant comments based on your hitting the thumbs up from the last video. I appreciate you watching this and we'll be back as soon as I can with more content.